Hey, how's it going, my super friends? I am Memo Acebo. Thanks for watching the vid. This is my review for Captain America, the god, the best of the best, number 700, the big 700, man. Mark Wade, Chris Samney, Matthew Wilson. Plus, we got a little, a little classic tale in the end. So, okay, you know, if you've seen my videos, if you know me, you know Captain America is my guy. He's my favorite character. And I think Mark Wade captures the essence of who Rogers is and what he does best. However, this story almost literally collapses under the weight of its own ambition as the execution is. Uh, um, the execution is a little bit bad. <laughs> I mean, the spirit of a great Cap story is in these pages. Um, but at best, it seems to be like an adaptation of Dimension Z. If you don't know what that is, uh, Cap is propelled into this new time and place. He finds the world under the the menace of a villain, under the iron fist of someone. He liberates that world and then bonds with a new character and uh, then returns home. That's it. So I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of this arc. Mark Wade uh, was trying to conceive because it's like rushed through without explanation. I think this issue is the first and the only issue to finally touch on the idea of King Captain America, you know? And it, it's genuinely over as soon as it starts. So I'm not sure if this story was meant to be like a 12 issue run that just got cut down to three, but the universe set up by Wade is really bare bones. I don't think characters have names outside of Babington and Lang. I mean, <laughs> those are the only ones I know. I would have loved to know more about the mutant commandos Cap has been working with, but we see little action throughout this issue. A lot of just dialogue and shit, you know? However, I think it is an outstanding milestone in the annuals, um, concluding this arc. I wasn't a fan of the arc, but it's a okay conclusion. But a milestone, indeed, 700, shit. Um, this issue doesn't waste any page space of the core story with callbacks and side stories highlighting the other parts of Deep's world. So there's like the little issue, the little story in the back. I'm gonna be covering about. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be covering that later. So really cool stuff with Jack Kirby art. I liked it. And this core story of number 700 is the one you've been reading for the past few issues, through and through. I mean, with the milestone, uh, the creative team tells a story that speaks to Captain America's character just as much as any amount of flashbacks could. We see Cap as both a valiant leader and also a humble man. I think this issue highlights everything that makes Cap an amazing hero person, you know. And the uh, comic begins with Steve, you saw that, leading the charge. America starting to rebuild. He's a leader of the rebellion and the savior of America. He was named King Rogers. And he hates the title, but he accepts it. He's like, everyone seems to naturally just follow him. Look at how many days went by, dude. His leadership is his uh, leadership is just frantic, to say the least. He has a lot of shit to juggle, dude, in terms of rebuilding the entire nation of America. Uh, but despite the odds, Cap just remains steadfast. Look at him. Even when the option to return home pops up, he declines that because he has to do this. He's willing, to, he's willing to put everything from the past behind him to help the future America rebuild. And for almost a whole year, he, he does. That's a selfless kind of action you'd expect from Steve Rogers, you know, a great highlight of his morals and beliefs. However, just when things are looking up for Cap in the future, disaster strikes, yeah. Someone sets off a nuke in Manhattan. Look at this big ass explosion. Damn. This, I mean, it brings everything down on Cap. He realizes the faults with his beliefs. He realizes that hope won't be enough to solve the problem that he was, and that he was very much in over his head. So he returns to the past <laughs> or the present, uh, however you want to look at it, um, to fix this dystopian future. You see this? He returns. He makes this triumphant return and ultimately 
defeats the rampart, which ideally un undoes everything in the future. I think the I think the finale to this arc is a good compilation of the great compilation of the things that make Steve Rogers who he is. He's selfless, staunch in his convictions, willing to fight until the very end. There's an abundance of moments like specifically pointing to these traits throughout the issue, and I love it. When he's offered the chance to return to the, to the past, he declines because he's unsure of how the science behind the time travel would work. But, I mean, Steve wants to stay in the future to help rebuild because he has real life to protect, you know. But he still returns, so it's, it's, it's... The ideals are there, but the story is eh. Um, it does show Cap's beliefs. It speaks to Cap's beliefs. But it also shows how he's opening up to new methods of thinking. I mean, when was the last time Steve Rogers legitimately took the time to think about the consequences of something based on the science of it? I mean, that doesn't happen <laughs> very often. This is a nice bit of character development thrown in by Wade. I like that. The idea of Steve changing as a character comes up again when he decides to return home. He realizes his efforts are in vain. He says hope is not a plan. That's the least Captain America thing I've ever heard, Bruce Banner says. <laughs> he couldn't be more right, dude. That's not at all a Captain America thing to say. Uh, but for a character who basically never loses hope, this is a very meaningful change for Steve Rogers. However, the colossal fault of Captain America number 700 is its ending. Let's just say that basically everything that has happened in the last three issues it's just retconned. Everything, including all of that great development I just mentioned, plus whatever I missed in my review. I mean, sh how? Well, you have to read to figure that out, dude, because it sucks. It's That's fucking bad. The arc wasn't the best material Cap has ever gotten, but it was fun, you know? It was enjoyable to read. Um, it was creative, unique, especially for a character like Cap, and with the milestone of 700, came a lot of great moments for the character. It's a shame that the end was just basically for nothing. And I hate that. Just forget about it, you know? I hate that. However, the milestone does not fail. Yes, the ending drops the ball for the out-of-time arc as a whole, but it's still a great combination of the character of Captain America, so not a total failure, I guess. The art, man, ugh, the art is incredible. Samney and Wilson deliver their usual brand of smooth, clean pages, man. Expressive characters, energetic action sequences. I think the story moves between the colorful sequences of Cap fighting in and rebuilding America and the darker, more solemn moments in the headquarters. Look at this pink, reddish pink. There are a ton of great artistic moments in this issue, the montage, the montage where we see Cap spending a year in the future. It's very pleasant to look at and easy to follow, so it gives you a sense, a strong sense of like progress is being made in the rebuilding of America. Again, yep. So the the fade where Cap returns to the past to the present is really cool. Something about the way the colors flow on the page is just really entrancing, you know, captures me. I think overall, it is a success in the books of Chris Samney and Matthew Wilson, so. Art is amazing. And the end story, let me go to the extra story. This, I'm not gonna cover that much, it's just like, um, the art is this 10 page story featuring Cap, Cap's co-creator, Jack Kirby, so. These were like old pages of, of Kirby's art that never got used. So Mark Wade saw a fit to put his story to them and it's really, it's a really nice story. If you haven't read it or you're not planning on reading it, read it, dude. It's classic Cap. It features him rushing to save a man's life. Also, like, having to fend off the Red Skull's cronies. Art is incredible. Any fan of the old Caps, old Cap comics will be right at home. The final line of this, uh, this short tale is a great summary. Um, great summary of Captain America and a perfect way to end number 700. Captain America is one of a kind. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, my friends, here's to 100 more. Number 700 is a star-spangled milestone. A huge turning point on... 
Let me see this one. A huge turning point for the character brings the energetic out of time arc to a close. The milestone is not without its flaws, but those problems can be those problems can be like overlooked thanks to the plethora of great content in this issue. The fast-paced and simplistic storytelling, the always impeccable and clean, look at this, clean art of Samney and Wilson, and the lovely 10-page story by Jack Kirby. I mean, there's a lot to love in this milestone. Kind of a long video, but you man, it's cap. And it's a milestone issue, I had to talk a lot about this. Even though it's basically a lot of the same things, like he's really cool, great character. <laughs> Oh man, go get yourself a copy of this shit, cause it's it's amazing. It's just really cool to have it with you. Get the physical copy, dude. It's gonna be really cool. On the double, she, my friends, tell me the comments down below. You review the issue. Did you like or did you not? What do you think of this milestone issue? You like Mark Wade with Cap, Chris Samney's art? Let me know what's up. What do you think of Cap as a character? And if Mark Wade did a great job here? I am Memo Sebo. If you enjoyed, please click the like button, man. Check out my other comic book reviews up in my channel. Making another one today. My other content, my solo trailer breakdown. More videos coming your way. Check my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. I'm active over there. Go request videos if you want. Talk to me. What up, what up? Subscribe so you don't miss any of uh, any of my content clicking on the bell icon will give you Notifications on your phone on your laptop, whatever that way you don't miss the videos and of course I'll see you in the next one